This is Twit. Uh, do you have a voicemail for us? We can do a voicemail, or we can actually do an actual email. What would you like? Well, those were two emails. Let's do a voicemail. Right, we'll do it. it wasn't an email, but those are two mails. Yeah. <laughs> P-mail, physical P-mail. mail. P-mail, physical mail. That's a good name. Did you just make that up? I did. <laughs> P-mail. Hello, this is Barbara Irvin. I'm calling from Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. I was wondering where I could take some free Excel classes. I'm interested in learning Excel so that I can move up in the professional world. I don't have the experience and I'd like to find out how to learn this program and a few others. So if you could provide me with some tips, I'd very much appreciate it. I love Thank you this. and have a great day. You should learn Excel. Uh, Excel and Word, which are the two Microsoft, big Microsoft Office programs. And then if you wanted to have a third PowerPoint, really do help you in business. And almost any job having those capabilities will make you a more desirable employee. And Excel, which is the numeric spreadsheet, uh, is a great thing to learn and fun. You can actually do so much in Excel. My strong recommendation is you look for community colleges in your yes. area and extension courses Almost every area, it sounds like you live maybe in a little bit of a rural area in Pennsylvania, but almost every area will have adult extension courses, and almost all of them will be in Microsoft Office or Excel. They will have some computing courses. It might be a good idea to kind of work the way through the basic computing up through uh, Excel, and then you can even get into coding if you want. But uh, that's the best free stuff frankly. Now, there is online stuff, and it depends on how, what kind of learner you are. Some people, personally, I think, you know, it, it's good to go into a classroom with other people. Uh, there's a peer relationship with your co-learners that really helps you learn. You know, they're struggling with it too, and you can talk to them, and having a teacher right there over your shoulder saying, yeah, they put that in there. For me, I think that works really well, and that's why I recommend the community colleges and the extension courses. But there is a uh, infinite amount of course online mm -hmm. for learning anything you'd want to use. There's the Khan Academy, for instance. Salman Khan's done an amazing job. He intended that for high school students, but it's really for anybody. And that's, there are Excel courses. There are also some, we call them MOOCs, massively online something. I do, I do. <laughs> online ox, ox, uh, massively online learning communities. And there are many, many MOOCs out there. Coursera is a good one. Um, I can, I mean, I, literally there are, there are dozens of these, uh, and some of them offer free courses. Some of them offer very inexpensive courses. Mm -hmm. Kind of depends on whether you want a certificate to prove that, you know, Excel. I've taken coding courses, for instance, online from, um, uh, a, a online learning consortium of MIT and, uh, University of British Columbia and a few other universities. It was called Ed. They've changed the name, I think. It was called EduX, I think. But uh, let me look and see what the new name is. When well, you're looking that up, uh, also, uh, Microsoft Support actually has Excel video training that they offer themselves. Uh, so made by the people who make the programs. Absolutely. We'll include yeah. a link in the show notes to that yeah. as well. It's it, it's of, I'm of the EdX was what it was called. Let me see if it's still EdX. E-D-X dot org. Yeah. These are often free. Um and then uh, if you want a certificate, you can pay like 90 bucks. They're not expensive. I took a couple of coding courses uh, from the uh, University of British Columbia that were incredible. Highly recommend them. But again, some people, this is a hard way to learn because you have to be self-starter. Right. There's nobody looking over your shoulder. The biggest thing I find difficult is I, sometimes I have a simple question and I don't want to go to Reddit or one of the online, you know, edX has its own online forums. I, for some reason, that just doesn't work for me i want to it'd be so much easier if i say hey micah yeah exactly why isn't this working and then you i think that peer learning is very important so that's why i like the in-person classes but you're right there's lots of online stuff even for microsoft it's free mm -hmm. they want you to use excel it's in their interests that you get good at excel so uh, there's quite a few places oh yes and back in philly is recommending harvard cs50 this is harvard's entry-level freshman course in computer science and i've taken it i've told other young people to take it it is an amazing course fast-paced and it gives you a very in-depth introduction to computing for smart people remember these are harvard freshmen who are going here so they're smart people 
but it is really a good course and you can take that online for free as well it's on youtube and a lot of other places i think edx has it as well uh, cs50 is the introductory course to computer science at harvard they change it they update it every year and i just saw they've got a new one uh cs50's introduction to artificial intelligence with python yeah. i'm yeah, going to watch yeah. that one yeah they um it's kind of neat what what harvard does i mean they they have uh, it's a large, it's probably the most popular class at Harvard, very close to. And so it's a big uh, lecture. And then they have little, you know, s workshops or whatever they call it. Uh, it's 11 weeks long. You can do it at your own pace. It's very deep. I mean, it is not, it moves very fast, but it's very well produced. And I think uh, this is a good one, but not, this is more general. This is not about Excel at all. This is a more general how computers work kind of thing. Uh, and it's free. Exactly. It's EDX. Uh, Harvard, MIT, and a number of other universities did that. I like EDX a lot. I'm, I'm on that page now going, and this one, and this one, and this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to, easy to easy overdo to, it. Exactly, yeah. I, uh, I did uh, my, uh, well, I, we don't have to go in depth. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. If you're ready for a new career in IT, then check out ACI Learning. They offer affordable certification-based training that will help you launch your new career in IT. Individuals use the code TWIT30 for 30% off a standard or premium individual IT pro membership at go.acilearning.com slash twit. Twit. 